In this video, I'm just going to go over a few differences between a Tesla and an internal combustion engine vehicle, or an ICE. Okay, so the first part of this video is unlocking the car. Um, a lot of people in their cars have like a push button on the door or have their key fob or just a key. In this, you don't really do anything. You walk up beside the car and it unlocks itself. If for any reason it didn't sense that the key fob was there, you can double click that center button and that'll unlock it. You can also press on the handle. There's a pressure sensor inside there. And if it's retracted, it will recognize that you're here. And the last thing you can do is you can use the app on your phone. And I'll show a screenshot of that. Which leads me to point two, turning the car on. So you open the door and the car is basically on completely, except it's just not ready to drive yet. So to turn it on to drive, all you do is you press the brake. And now it's setting my preferences for the seat and the steering wheel um, and everything like that. The next part is driving and getting out of the vehicle. So it drives like a normal car for the most part. Putting it in gear, you have your gear selector here. You pull it all the way down for drive push it all the way up for neutral. You can push it down just slightly or up slightly to put it in neutral. And to put it in park, you press the silver button here and that'll enable the emergency brake. And that's it, you get out of the car. You don't have to lock it or anything when you walk away. You, sim you simply open the door and leave. Once the key fob is out of range, the car will automatically lock itself. A little side note and confession here, with the fact that you just park the car and get out and walk away, I have done that in our other vehicles. It's pretty embarrassing when you walk into Walmart and then go running back out because you realize that you left your car running and unlocked. I've done that more than once. It's not that these cars are just stupid fast. It's that there's no delay when you push the accelerator. In a normal car, when you push the accelerator, you have to wait for it to downshift or do whatever it's gonna do. In this car, you push the accelerator and you just go, just like that. And mind you, this is still a very slow Tesla, but I let off and there we go again. I'm going uphill too. It's next to silent too. appreciate a fun loud car as much as the next guy but there's just something satisfying about that near silence that punch that you get you don't have to wait for the rpms to get up there to actually feel the torque it's instant even at zero miles an hour so there's a lot of people that talk about how inconvenient it is that you have to charge instead of just quickly topping off your gas tank and going um it depends on your car, but most of the time you never even need to stop out in public to charge. In my case, I charge at home every night when I get home. Super easy. I literally pull the car in, grab my charge cable here, push the button on it, opens up, plug it in, it's charging, I'm done. That's it. Because you don't have an engine in the front, you can pop the hood and you have more storage. This is called a frunk, a front trunk. Just extra storage where an engine would go. Then I'll show you the back. But another thing is, because you don't have a gas tank, where your gas tank normally would go, you have even more storage. It's just a little hidden compartment in here. Let's see if we can line it up, there we go. You just take this, you got a little loop there, lift it up. And it's about 10 inches deep, if I were to venture a guess. Goes all the way from one side to the other. So you can fit quite a bit in there. All right, so I'm just doing a regen test right now. I apologize for the shaky video. Uh, for some reason, I can't get my phone to stay mounted. 
So we're gonna give this a go. Currently 168 miles of range um, and 13.4 kilowatt hours used. I'm just gonna go down this hill. It's the closest one to my house and we'll see what we have afterward. So here we go. So while this fast forwards, I'm gonna do a brief little overview on what regenerative braking is. Basically, the kinetic energy used to slow the car down is put into the battery. This recharges the battery instead of wasting the brake pads. On cars that use regenerative braking, the brake pads tend to last a lot longer. For example, in this Tesla, I just took it in for service not too long ago. They told me that I have about 70% of the pad life left on the original brakes. If you extrapolate how many miles I've gone and how much pad life I've used, I'll make it to about 400,000 miles before I have to replace these brake pads. All right, these are my end numbers. I don't remember what my beginning numbers were, but thanks to the ability of editing video, I can put the difference on your screen right now. One of the interesting things about the interior of the Tesla and the back seat here is there's no hump in the middle. That's because there's no drive shaft or exhaust or anything that needs to go from the front to the back. So it's just flat here in the middle for whoever wants to sit there. I don't have a video to show this, but I have a picture and I'll try to explain what's going on here. So in the middle of the screen, right next to the speed, you can see just above it that there is a dashed line. And then also just below it to the right, there's another dashed line. Each of these lines represents a limitation. The one towards the top is showing the limitation of power that can be drawn. And the bottom is showing the limitation of regenerative braking. Basically what's happening is the batteries have a sweet spot of temperatures that they work at. And when they're too cold, they'll do this to protect themselves. So you don't pull too much power and heat them up too quickly. And as the battery heats up, those dashed lines move. And once they get back to normal, driving resumes just like normal. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will be back with more Tesla videos later on.